In this video, you'll see how to enable data scientists to deploy Amazon products using AWS Service Catalog. With this service, you can manage access to on-demand resources, provision those resources to users with specialized roles, and employ templates to configure specific products. To demonstrate how AWS Service Catalog can be used to make products available for specialized roles, let's start in the role of a data scientist who is interested in using AWS to create a new machine learning model. We've been provided access to the AWS Management Console through a specialized data scientist role with the appropriate permissions to access AWS Service Catalog. AWS Service Catalog allows organizations to create and manage catalogs of IT services that are approved for use on AWS and helps you meet your governance and compliance requirements. This products list can be configured by an organization to make only certain products available to certain roles. As you can see, this organization has already configured a SageMaker notebook product that you can use to provision the necessary resources. You can simply choose to launch the product and then proceed through the wizard. Type in a name for the product. Next, specify some basic parameters about the SageMaker notebook. This includes a specialized machine learning instance type. Next, let's provide other parameters, such as the notebook name, team name, environment type, notebook suffix, and EBS volume size. You can also provide additional tags for this product to assist in auditing and management. Administrators can configure this screen to make certain tags required and ensure consistency in tagging resources. Let's proceed through the rest of the wizard. Here you can review the parameters and then launch the product. The status under change indicates that the product is in the process of provisioning. Let's switch over to Amazon SageMaker now. Amazon SageMaker provides every developer and data scientist with the ability to build, train, and deploy machine learning models quickly. SageMaker is a fully managed service that covers the entire machine learning workflow to label and prepare data, choose an algorithm, train the model, tune and optimize it for deployment, make predictions, and take action. Let's take a look at the notebook instances available to this user. As you can see, the notebook instance is still shown as pending. Once the provisioning is completed, the status will change to in service. This notebook is now ready to use. Let's take a closer look. This screen shows the notebook instance settings, which have all been predefined by the product configuration in AWS Service Catalog, so you don't have to worry about any of them when launching a new SageMaker notebook. Next, let's open the Jupyter Notebook environment for this instance. You can now get started creating a new notebook, or leverage one of the many existing examples that have been provided for reference. As you can see, AWS Service Catalog can allow data scientists to get started quickly without having to worry about the technical details of configuring a SageMaker environment in AWS. Now let's take a quick look at how AWS Service Catalog was configured by the cloud engineering team. This is the administrator view of AWS Service Catalog, including all the products that have been defined in the organization. Here are the portfolios that contain these products. Let's take a quick look at the SageMaker portfolio. Notice that this portfolio contains just one product for the SageMaker notebook. This portfolio has been made available to the data scientist user. You can also add additional groups or roles to grant access to. Let's drill down into the SageMaker notebook product. Here you can see the artifact template that defines the product. Let's drill down further. This template contains all the JSON code defined by the cloud engineering team to create this product. When your organization is ready to start creating its own products for the catalog, a great place to start is the AWS Labs GitHub repository. Let's take a quick look at it now. This repository contains many useful code templates for different AWS services. Here is a folder for code samples related to the catalog. This folder contains sample templates for defining a product or portfolio. Organizations can use these templates to define resources and then deploy them using CloudFormation stacks. 
You've just seen how to deploy Amazon products using AWS Service Catalog. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.